Yes, hi everybody. Um, very short video today. Uh, I just want to talk to you about these things. Laser collimators. Now, if you've got a reflecting telescope, you'll probably know that you need to collimate the optical train. That basically means align the secondary mirror and the eyepiece and the primary mirror. And to do that, you can either use a laser collimator or something like a uh, collimating cap or a Cheshire or something like that. Um, so these are a little bit maligned. And one of the reasons that, of, of that is that they themselves need collimating. So basically what it is, is a, a laser. It will shine a laser out of the little hole in the middle down there. But basically we want to make sure that that laser is aligned with the axis of the body. Um, so how can we do that? Well, the easiest way is to point it at a distant wall for instance the one over there and if I turn it on oh there we go you can see the laser pointing on the wall in the background so if I then turn it the problem is to keep it really steady I'll be able to see whether it's staying on the same axis or not so how do we keep it steady well we need some sort of v-blocks so if you're in an engineering company you might have some v-blocks if not you might need to make something so I've just made up a very simple little jig. It's two right angle brackets, um, and just held into a block of wood um, by one screw, done up fairly tight. And uh, when I put the laser collimator in, into it, it sits up against the shoulder. It doesn't actually touch the wood, but it does sit up against the shoulder so I can twist it round. So I'll show you what to do with that. Um, we put them on a, a suitable flat surface that can point away to a direction. In this case it's about um, 15 feet away to the wall and uh, if I roughly just put the, the uh, collimator on top and I'll just line it up to get some tape and to just seal it into place just to stop it moving while I'm rotating it. Two pieces would probably be better but right now I'm just going to use one. Okay, so once we've got it stuck down and we can see the dot paint pointing away on the far wall, actually what I've done is put a post-it note on there and just lined the dot up roughly uh, with it. Oh, we've still got some movement in there. So we're going to hold it with one hand anyway. So what we're going to do is just rotate. And what you can see on the far wall, hopefully, is that instead of staying still, the laser dot is actually rotating and forming a larger circle on the wall. That means it's basically out of uh, collimation. So have a look at your, um, your laser collimator. And what you should find is on the side of the body there should be three small holes. Maybe one of them's under the label like this one was for me. Um, I've managed to scratch out the, the rubber that was holding it in place and that re reveals some little uh, hexagon, hexagon keys. Actually one of the tools that came with the telescope, the Allen key that came with it, is the right size. So what I want to do is put it down and basically uh, adjust. Okay, so if I turn it around now, just about all the way. You can see it's moving upwards and back downwards again. Right, so I want to take about half the distance and adjust that with the Allen key. Okay, repeat the process. Tiny little bit more on the same screw. It's useful to use the numbers on the on the which are usually there for the brightness levels to remember which screw you're adjusting. And 
And there we go. So I've chopped out a little bit. It does take a little while to get it sorted. Um, but now you can see that when I rotate it, it stays in the same spot. So I know this is collimated. Um, now I, I'm going to leave the screws without any kind of adhesive in, in them. So they might may well move over time. Um, so I might have to repeat this at some point. But uh, yeah, as you can see, it's not a long winded process, but it's something that you really should do before you use a laser collimator on your telescope. Okay, so that's all I really wanted to show you on this one. Um, and the only other thing I wanted to say was, um, yeah, Happy New Year to you all. And I wish you all the best for 2017. Uh, I'm not sure what was on your Astro Christmas list. I got uh, a copy of Sky Safari and a little device called Sky Fi, which is a nice little wireless dongle so I can control my telescope with the, uh, the iPad. So look out for that. Um, that video when I make that review. Okay, bye for now.